All right, quick video. eBay was good to me, well I hope. Put a new pull starter on. I reckon, uh, I don't know, 10? Let's see, what have we got? Where's the 10 mil? There we go. 10 mil. Go one up, grab an adapter for it. You know, a lot of people when they do these videos have two people one to do the job, one to film it. I'm sure Tarrell's Fixers, uh, how was it? Tar Tarrell Fixers, yeah, he's got two blokes, well, himself and another bloke. Or a good tripod or something. And that one turns off. And guess what? We got one that turns. I wonder. Oh, things I'll have to do to pull that off. I'm going to try and apply pressure underneath and see if that holds the head still. Having my dramas getting that. But here's a little trick I just found. Not much force went into that. Then oh yeah, I see what's happened. Can't really see it, but that bolt's supposed to go into the block somewhere. You can't see it, no you won't see it. This is meant to screw down into the block, and I believe it's not. Not even close. So, I'm going to try and hold that bolt somehow. Maybe even just what's involved in removing this tank. Oh, oh, that's what holds the whole thing on. Didn't know that. So what's happened? That's the other one for... You're kidding. That's the other bolt to keep that down. So, uh, I don't hear any scraping, so it hasn't moved. If the magnet was closer, it may have drawn it towards it. But it didn't. And yeah, I'm well aware that the video may have turned sideways. <sighs> Just found out. Anyway, um, get this bolt out, put it back in there, tighten it down. Need two hands for that. <sighs> Bloody thing. Friggin' on this. Should have got a Briggs and Stratton. Got it. Put the vice grips on there, got it out, put it in there, screwed it down, same size again, 10 mil. Really tight, not too tight. You know, I've got heli coils if I ever strip threads, but not everyone does. They look pretty similar. Uh, Good enough for me. So here you line them three up. Grab the new one. Uh, 
and well it, it does turn it over but what I'm finding here is you've got those on the other one You just don't do it, but if I tighten that down, because it is, it is, um, that is turning it over, so, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what it does, we'll see what that does, give me a sec. Well, I've decided it would be best to borrow the old man's drill and drill a hole. I haven't done it yet, and he's just about to drill the one that's already came out. Uh, oh, he can do it. You know, I had a drill. Learn my lesson though. The idea is you don't trust people. Let's have a look at that. See what goes on. Make a finger and a bomb. Yeah, well, there you go. Your dad drilled him out. And, uh, Fits perfect. Well, you know, I'm going to leave a review for these, um, it's not going to be good. So something along the lines of this CG, this C, Honda CVG or CGV, whatever it is. I think it's CVG. Pull st start had to be modified to fit the Honda CVG engine. C C V G I think it's V G. But this pull start that's made for this motor had to be modified to fit this motor. Which uh well it should just go straight on. That was bullshit just then. Ugh. The idea here is to just snip them up not too tight because Whoever did that one there at the front up helps to go the right way. Just nip it tight and then a few nips. This one here might just one nip. That should pull over. <coughs> No dramas there. Yeah. Buddy, uh, she's good. Give me a sec. This one's a manual choke. It's not, but. I have to choke it manually. I just hold it up with my finger when I cold, started cold, but I'm holding a camera, so I can't. So I get a valve or something. Bit more. Actually, hasn't been started for a while because of that um, issue with the starter. It still worked, but. You had to be very Yeah, really as I might give that a good run. Ugh. Where 
Where is it? Where is it? Here. 